So here's a little setup of playing with the C bus of the Clarion automotive radio and CD changer. So this here uh, is the changer CDC 634 a radio I made a little uh, output there and a very short cable between head unit and changer uh, 8051 board with serial communication to my uh, computer terminal to see what data is being sent and received uh, so the idea is I intercept the communication between head unit and changer and I display it on my PC now I couldn't read this bus directly it's a quite fast bus it works on a 262 kilohertz uh, clock so I made a little board with a shift register uh, that picks up uh, the data and in the when there's no communication after one byte I have the time uh, to read the shift register out with the 8051 so this is the circuit I made the thing is after the 8 bits it clocks it keeps on clocking so you have a burst, a clock burst of 100 or more clocks and what this circuit does so this, this little thing I made there it stops the clock after 8 bits so this is the shift register is the 595 I shift in a 1 and then after 8 clocks it appears on Q7 that sets a 74 flip flop and the flip flop will stop the clock towards the 595 so that is not uh, being erased and then the data comes out uh, by Q7 with, uh, with the accent and on this Q7 it, it lags one clock behind them so I, I connect the storage and the, and the clock together so that is if it were the, the ninth uh, bit time okay so now yeah that's that's a little bit of of, of that and then here on the on the screen we have the hyper terminal so my AT51 spits out the RS232 protocol to be able to view my data so let's see what happens currently it's on the radio and if I press the CD button it starts spitting out data and here you can see the data that is required for the seconds update the time update on the display of the head unit so right now it's on just on 3 minutes and 3 seconds so that, that can be right now and on the scope it's looking like this so I, here are my 14 bytes it's the row you just saw on the, on the screen each of th those bars are uh, 100 or more clocks so this is the clock burst 
and within one clock burst the bottom trace is the data line of the CBUS you see two dots so let's zoom in a little bit so now the first dot are my 8 bits of data and the second dot is the acknowledge bit so if we lay over the clock and the data so the clock on top the data at the bottom you see at the end of the clock burst is my last acknowledge bit and that stops the clock and then okay that's the the handshake and then in between two clock bursts I have a pause so a little bit of waiting uh, waiting time so and I'm coming back to the 14 bits so this is all there is a third line so we have clock data and the third line is the service request line so that is uh, a service request from the changer to the head to say hey I have some some data for you and then the head response with 0 F7 which is the address of the changer it's all hacks this huh? so and the second is uh, binary gray code so the, the, uh, the address F7 from the head to the changer and this is the response from the changer to the head so that goes back and forth 11 is a command from the head to the changer that it wants to receive data the echo from the changer to the head unit again and then uh, the tree is the length of the data inverse so from here it's, it's like data inverse and then with data inverse data inverse so I have after the 11 command after the echo it tells me I have a message of 3 bytes long inverse starting with 10 10 means uh, the message is time information elapsed track time inverse of that 2 minutes inverse of that 6 seconds inverse of that so those are my 14 bytes that uh, together is the second update the, the time display update so now and if you look close very closely to, to all this data and especially at the top uh, you can see a lot is going on then there is a, a uh, good structure recognizable so I made a little file with, with all things I uh, I think they uh, the bytes stand for so for example 41 is the magazine uh, contents so it's like this byte 3 of that message is uh, for CD 5 and 6 and byte 4 of the message is uh, CD 1, 2, 3 and 4 so now yeah if there is a 0 then it means that the disk is present and a 1 is not present so now that's that and here are the, the commands I don't know if what everything means response of 0 is the transport status so uh, is the transport in play mode or is the, is the magazine ejected or or is the, the drive in search mode or did it find a new track or is the end of the disk reached uh, so yeah 3e read table of contents and then a message follows uh, with uh, 
total number of tracks on the disc and the total playing time there are a lot of commands and messages from which the end is the disk number so for example to load a disk I see commands E3 and F3 but for disk 1 it will be E1, F1 and also with, with, this, uh, with this track time I see in my message uh, 43 and then 9 tracks 43 is the uh, data type for disk 1 it will be 41 and then it's followed by the total number of tracks so yeah some messages and commands are uh, composed of uh, together with the, the disk number so I logged some actions and, and what, what I uh, receive on the, on the messages and those are the transport positions so yes and now my goal was to uh, to be able to drive this one without a head unit so uh, yeah that's uh, something I need still to do because now I can only monitor what's going on so uh, yeah that's it <laughs>